In this video, we are going to understand how to use double take APIs or how to send a template message using API. For that, you or your developer can go onto the double take dashboard and on the left hand side panel and click on the settings icon, followed by which if you scroll down, you will find developer API key option. From here, you need to copy the API key and you can refer to the API documentation of doubletick.io. You can directly click on the URL from over here or you can ask your developer to go to doubletick.readme.io and if you provide the API key to your developer, they would be able to test out the API. So first of all, let's quickly jump to instead of send WhatsApp text message, which API is for sending text message in an open window, we are going to click on templates. Or we can also scroll down to send WhatsApp template messages. First of all, in the header section, we need to paste the API key that we had just copied from the double tick. So we need to copy it from here, come here and paste it in the header section. Once you paste the API key, that would ensure that your developer can test out the API. Now, first of all, we need to ensure that we are sending a template message for which we are going to click on add object. Here, we need to also mention the API number. From signifies the API number or the phone number from which the message is being sent along with the country code. In this case, the number we are using to send our API number, we are going to copy and we are going to paste it over here. Whom do we want to send this text message to or template message to? So usually what happens is our customer is the recipient of these messages. However, during our API testing time, it is preferred that the developer puts his or her own WhatsApp number. Here I have put in my own WhatsApp number, which you can also see is available over here. And uh, the API is going to basically send a WhatsApp template message to this particular WhatsApp number over here. Here the message ID you can keep it blank since it is optional, but the content is a required field. So we are going to click on content object. And first we need to put the template name. Now you can find the template name on the double tick platform by going on and browsing the template section and choosing the particular template that you want to send to your customer. Do ensure that you are not looking at all templates, but only on approved templates. And here we are going to copy the template name. We are going to go on to our testing section and we are going to paste the template name exactly as it is. It is important to ensure that the language is also selected. Where do we find the language? In double tick, you can see that after the template name within bracket, you will find the language. The language needs to be exactly the same. And then we can move ahead and click on template data. Here we can customize the header body and the buttons, right? So as we have discussed in our other video, wherein we had shown how to create a template, we can put in our different information. What is the significance of this header section? As this header section is super crucial in changing the kind of attachment we are sending. For example, in this particular template 1v4, we have this image of Merry Christmas. If we want to change this image and send a different image, right? what should be those steps? Now those images can also come directly from a drive link or any cloud image storage link. So we are going to first of all, change the header to image and we are going to 
put the image media URL. Now for example, let me show you how to make an image URL. So we will go to drive.google.com and on our drive, we are going to upload a couple of images and we are going to create some media links. So once the media is uploaded, we need to ensure that we are changing the accessibility permissions. For that, we are going to click on the share icon and click on the share button to ensure that this image is publicly accessible by removing the restriction and making it anyone with the link being an editor. We are going to copy this link. We are going to come back to our double tick application from the section of doubletick.readme.io where we had left off. In the media URL, we are going to paste this URL that we had just created. So in this particular case, you had seen that in the body, we had a variable. The variable was written as name, right? So in the body, we need to click on add object. And here in the placeholder, we would need to put in the string. For example, Ritam. On the right hand side in the code, you can see that in the body, an array is getting passed of placeholders with the first position is that of Ritam. In case your template contains multiple variables, for example, wherein you have, let's say, high name, and then you have other information like loyalty points, city, all variables, then those variables will be passed as an array. In order to ensure it is passed as an array within placeholders, all we need to do is keep on adding those additional strings. For example, if the second variable was loyalty points and the value should be 500 for a sample and the third one being address and the city should be Pune, right? Here we will go ahead and pass those in the array. But in our case, since we have only one variable that is name, we are going to delete the rest of the two. We also have the response error codes being incorrect payload or unauthorized, right? So we are good to go now. So we will go ahead and try out the API. In order to try out the API, all you need to do is click on the try it button. And as you can see, it is a success with the code 201 with the message status being sent, the recipient being 79778, this number and with a message ID. So now let's go on to WhatsApp and see that we have received the message with the changed image and the name properly instead of the variable. And you can check the same on double tick interface as well that this message has been sent via public API. I hope this video will help you in sending templates directly from your CRM, templates which contains, for example, customers invoices, payment reminders or other documents or videos or personalized information. For example, if you are into a logistic company or if you are into tours and tours, uh, travel or into the tourism industry, you can even pass latitude longitude on the header so that the map location can directly go to the customer as a attachment. Try this out with different media URLs 
and do not forget to change the option as location video or document before sending and before sending your message via api to all the developers out there in case if you face any difficulty please reach out to our support team and we will help you out with the necessary added api information or the right course of how to send messages via double tick api thank you for watching